If you are here, you are probably toying with the idea of transferring between profi, outpatient facility and inpatient facility coding. And while doing so, the question might have occurred to you just how different is it going to be? There are several differences between these specialties, but one of the scariest ones is probably the procedural coding systems used. Let's see how they measure up. First of all, the basics. The purpose of both systems is to get services paid. CPT codes do this with five characters, PCS codes with seven. Here you can see some examples of what the codes look like. The encounter type and place of service differ for the two code sets. CPT is for professional fee and outpatient facility charges on the CMS 1500 and UBO4 claim forms, while PCS codes are mainly for inpatient facility charges on the UBO4. And I say mainly because some outpatient departments also use PCS codes for tracking and utilization review purposes. It's not super common, but it happens. Regardless of which side you are transferring from, you will have to adopt a new coding logic when doing so. CPT is a terminology system, meaning that every code has a nice predetermined definition to it. CPT acts more like a dictionary than anything else. For example, code 55840 is defined as a retropubic radical prostatectomy with or without nerve sparing. Now compare this to the PCS code table for the same procedure. There is no code defined for us, we have to build it from scratch. And this is because PCS is a coding system built on logic and not terminology based on language. Because we are building our own codes without predefined definitions or procedural packages, CPT codes often translate into multiple PCS codes for the same service. Radical prostatectomy is one code in CPT, but two, three, four, or even more in PCS because PCS will code for every body part removed separately. So 0VT0ZZ for the prostate, 0VT30ZZ for the bilateral seminal vesicles, 0VT something something for anything else also removed. Again, the reason behind this is that in CPT medical terms and service packages guide the code selection, but in PCS we have to work with so-called root operations. Root operations describe what is happening to a given body part or the patient, and sometimes more than one is necessary to tell the whole story. So when CPT uses the medical term prostatectomy, PCS asks, sure, but what does that mean? What is happening to the prostate? And the answer is, it's getting resected. It is being cut out or off without replacement. As you can tell, the logic behind the two systems and the way you have to use the book is very different and usually takes a little time to adjust to. A lot of people don't like PCS because it is perceived to be harder, and that might be the case in the beginning as it needs a deeper understanding of surgical procedures. In CPT we can find an easy quick answer if we are looking for VIPO procedure, but in PCS again the question is what's happening? We have to understand. The same goes for a brush biopsy of the ureter. In CPT we are given a code, but in PCS Again, we have to know what's going on and build the code accordingly. But don't worry, PCS is not all bad. There are a lot of aspects where CPT is way worse than PCS can ever be. Well, I guess that's a negative if you are transferring into CPT, but who knows, maybe your pros and cons are different. There are several features in CPT not found in PCS and vice versa. First of all, PCS does not code for EM services. Evaluation and management services describe the mental effort a physician exerts while examining and assessing a patient. A lot of people dislike coding for these services because the guidelines can be confusing and there are just way too many EM codes altogether. Not having to do this in PCS is definitely a plus. Next, PCS has no modifiers. Modifiers are two-digit additions on codes that communicate additional information about the procedure. For example, here we see the code for drainage of a major joint without ultrasound guidance with modifier 50, meaning that the procedure was done on both sides. In PCS, the same bilateral drainage procedure of the shoulder is communicated with two codes, one for each side. Further difference is that PCS has no bundling edits like CPT does. In CPT coding, we have code pairs that should never be assigned together or only under given circumstances. These code pairs are listed in the NCCI edits. You can find a full-length tutorial on this topic amongst my videos. 
For now, it is enough to remember that CPT has tons of rules on what can and cannot be coded together, but PCS doesn't. PCS requires us to build our own codes, but might be a little bit harder in the beginning. And CPT coding is also easier thanks to instructional notes and additional guidance following many codes. In PCS, we are on our own. So much so that in PCS, we are responsible for choosing the principal procedure. The procedure code listed first as the most important one. In CPT, this is not our responsibility. CPT codes have so-called relative value units assigned to them that shows how valuable a procedure is. The higher this relative value, the more priority we must give the CPT code on the claim form. In PCS, we have to learn separate guidelines that describe which procedure must be chosen as the first listed. And speaking of guidelines, everything you need to know about PCS is described on about eight pages against the hundreds of pages of guidance that CPT provides. And if all this sounds complicated and scary, don't worry, because both code sets come with official help. The AMA publishes the CPT Assistant, where they answer questions relating to CPT coding, and its equivalent for PCS is the Coding Clinic by the AHA. Unfortunately, both resources require a subscription, but if you can, definitely get them as they provide education and helpful insights on these code sets. In summary, both code sets are hard to use in their own unique way, but they are totally fun and doable with a little practice. And if you are ready to take the plunge, see my PCS and CPT book tabbing videos here to get you started. See you there.